All right, well, hello everybody again. Redneck is back in action. It's Saturday, so y'all know what that means. I done been out yard selling and estate selling. Yep, sure have. And uh, y'all know I like to cook on the weekends a lot too. So we got a couple things going on here today. First thing I want to do, I want to show you my yard sale find. This was a yard sale find. Y'all hear it? Give you three guesses what that is. First two don't count. Listen, here it is again. That's right, a cast iron skillet. There we go. Got me a BSR. Number seven, BSR. All right. Something else I got. Now you fellow cast iron cookers that like bacon will appreciate this. Got me a baking press. And I didn't even find this one. The wife found this one. I walked right by it. Didn't even see it. But uh, y'all ain't going to believe. I couldn't believe what she paid for it. I told her. I said, I just cannot believe you paid that for that. That much for that. I just can't believe it. That price was very, very, very outrageous. Y'all see the two five? 25 cent. Yep. But we'll clean that one up. And we'll season it and we'll redo this handle right here and we'll get it to working just like all my other stuff. Okay. That's it on the yard sale. Fine. Now let's talk about what all we're right, going to cook. Y'all see I got my large Dutch oven out here, right? Y'all probably wondering why I got it outside. Well, I'm going to explain all that to you here in just a minute. First, we're going to show you what's in it. We got a pork loin, boneless pork loin. Got it seasoned, just however, whatever kind of season you want to put on it. Got a little vegetable oil down there at the bottom, kind of help prevent sticking or whatever. All right, that's enough. That's all y'all get to see it at. I'm gonna show you how we're gonna cook it. All right, y'all see it's on the gas grill there. In the Dutch oven. We're gonna keep that temperature right around there, around 300. Now some of y'all probably wondering why now, Redneck, why you got that in the Dutch oven on the grill? Why don't you just grill it? Well, I want it to be baked in that Dutch oven. I don't want it grilled this time. I want baked tenderloin because we're going to make sandwiches. Yes, I said sandwiches. So we're going to make us some sandwiches tonight with that. And uh, I forgot the missus. Uh, Vidalia onion. I gotta go back and get her onion because if I don't fix that Vidalia onion, she'd be mad at me. But we're gonna let that cook right there around 300 and probably, I don't know, three, four hours it'll probably take, maybe a little longer. But we'll keep a check on it and see how it works out. But that's why I'm cooking it in there. I won't, well, I didn't ever tell y'all why I was cooking it in the grill, did I? Okay, let's get back to that cooking it in the Dutch oven in the grill because I wanted to have the baked effect I wanted to be baked but I don't want to heat up my oven in the house because it's still kind of warm around here and plus the electricity it uses up you know whenever I can I try to conserve electricity but the main reason I want to cook it out here on this grill is because when that bad boy gets to cooking good and the way this wind is blowing all these people around here are going to be wondering about who's eating good tonight. I ain't going to let them know it's me because they might all show up. But anyway, we're going to let that cook and we'll come back. So y'all just hang right there. Well, while we're sitting here waiting, let me tell y'all about a little place that I learned a lot about my cast iron at. It's a Facebook group called Cast Iron Cooking. Um, all you got to do is go to Facebook, put in Cast Iron Cooking, and it'll come up and it's got a big thing up there it says 10,000 members with a I think they still got the big old uh, chocolate chip cookie on there they might change that but go ahead and send them a request to join that group and if you like cooking and you like to cook in cast iron and stuff like that uh, check that group out There's a lot of good people uh, there y'all go check that out it's called cast iron cooking on Facebook we're gonna watch this here and watch this cook we ain't going to sit here the whole three hours, but we're going to keep an eye on it. 
somebody might try to steal it and get the smelling good. I wish y'all look yonder to cast iron I gotta clean and reseason. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I got my work cut out for me. Alright y'all, I made it to the store earlier. Got that onion. Got it put in there. And I'm gonna tell you what. Sure does smell good out here. So we're gonna check on it. See what's going on in this cast iron. So y'all just hold on. All right, y'all see it's right there around about 250, 260, 255, somewhere around there. And it's been on here for about, I don't know, about three hours now. The onion's been in there for about an hour, something like that. But Oh, man, that smells good. Y'all really want to see what's in there? Don't that just look good? Look at that. Yeah, she's getting nice and tender. Oh, yeah. Put a little of that juice up there on it. Ouch. The danger of cooking with cast iron, it is hot if you touch it. Alright, well, that's all that I can let y'all see till it's done. Next time you see it, it'll be finished. Alright folks, this thing's been on here for several hours. Low and slow. The onions have done about gone. But we're going to take a look and see at it. So y'all just hold on a second. Y'all see right there what we've been cooking at. I'll hear my buddy over there. Hold it like a piece of junk. All right, here we go. I did come out here and I flipped it. Look at that, it's just falling apart. Oh yeah. She's good, she's ready. All right, look at them onions. Now, I don't eat the onion. The wife should eat them onions, but I don't eat them. I do like the flavor of them. I just don't eat the onions, but all right. We're going to cut her off. Turn the gas off. We're going to let it sit right there for a little while. And then we'll get it in the house and we'll get her chopped up. All right, y'all, we in the house now. Y'all hear that sizzling? Yep. I got the wife of She want a fried onion, fried sweet onion. She eats them as a side dish. Sometimes she'll put them on the sandwiches. But we got one of them going in my number three lodge right there. And this right here, that's still hot. I'll take all that right there and I'll put that in a bowl. And I'm gonna chop it up and uh, break it up real good so we can make some sandwiches out of it. So just hold on for that. Look at that stack right now. <laughs> That's the ones I ain't using. But let me get that in a bowl. Alright, folks, we got it cut up in the bowl right yonder. Got her onion over here. It's time to make some sandwiches. So hold on. Hey, guys, one more thing. You know how to know when what you cook. It's got the whole house smelling good. Because that one right there won't leave you alone. Got her licking her chops. She knows what I got. <laughs> Alright, you get your bun. You put some of that meat on there. You put whatever kind of condiments you want. That's some hickory smoked sweet barbecue sauce. Put it on there like that. And you got to do that right there. Huh. Alright, we at the table now. That's better than sex. 
I got to hide these. Y'all have fun. Peace out. Don't forget to check out that group I told you about. See y'all.